And now we have a jilted, broken-hearted teenager, Phil Davis, singing White Sport Coat. A white, a white, sport coat, sports coat, and a pink carnation. I'm all dressed up for the dance. A white, a white, sport coat, sports coat, and a pink carnation. The pig carnation and in a blue blue white, no white sport coat, sport coat, and the pink carnation. Sports coat and the pink carnation. I'm in a blue, blue I'd like to thank the guys that helped me out with this. <laughs> thank you all. Let's hope we can cheer this young man up. Okay, now we got a different act that uh, maybe some of you have heard before because Dorsha is pretty well scared of snakes and most people know that, but she's going <laughs> to tell you a little about the uh, family that she found. Yes, I know that some of you know how frightened I am of snakes. Uh, there's something about them and I, and I really never could explain it because I've never been bothered or hurt by a snake in my life, but I do have a morbid fear of them. Well, a few years ago, I had to rake the lawn, and some of you heard about it. Well, I haven't been in the grass since. Trust me, I don't walk in the grass. However, our lawn people, Ray and Gracie, had a vacation. Well, of course they deserve a vacation. Well, we had to do the lawn, and Phil can't rake. He can't walk on the uneven ground, so of course, it's up to me. So I took the rake out, and <laughs> you know what happened the first thing? I saw snakes. I saw two adult snakes, and there were several little snakes slithering around. And one of the snakes seemed to be named Mrs. Pet. And she said, OK, children, I've let you play and hiss up outside enough. We're going inside, and I want you to stay inside the pit and no hissing. Okay, they went in the, the pit, and of course they started hissing around. What do little snakes do? Slither around and hiss, and one of them said, Remember, Mommy said, if we had to hiss, we were supposed to go over to Mrs. Potts' pit to hiss, and no hissing in this pit. 
Okay, so they went over to Mrs. Potts Pit, and of course they got to hissing around, and she said, children, I really don't want hissing in my pit. If you think you have to hiss, you go over to your own pot and hiss. <laughs> Close. Anyway, they went along back to their own pet, and, uh, and they got to hissing around. And in comes Mrs. Pet, and she said, I thought I told you not to hiss in this pit. If you had to hiss, you were supposed to go to Mrs. Potts' pit to hiss, and that's it. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We got over there, Mommy, and we were hissing around, and she told us if we had to hiss, we had to go home and hiss in our own pet. And Mrs. Pitt said, really? I remember a day when Mrs. Pot didn't have a pit to hiss in. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>